While dividend investing is a popular strategy among investors seeking regular income and long-term wealth accumulation, there are still several misconceptions about how dividends work and their impact on investment portfolios. These misunderstandings can lead you to making decisions that mean you miss out on some opportunities. In this video, we'll explore three of the most common misconceptions in dividend investing, which should help you make more informed investment choices. Hello and welcome back to The Dividend Experiment, the channel that helps you build a portfolio that pays your bills. The content that we discuss is intended for information and educational purposes only, and should not be considered investment advice or investment recommendation. Whether you're a seasoned investor or new to discovering the world of dividends, addressing these myths can enhance your strategy and ensure you're on the right path. Misconception number one, dividends are boring. One of the most known misconceptions is that dividends are boring. People often get excited about high growth tech stocks and think that the slow and steady nature of dividend paying stocks is slightly dull. However, I beg to differ. If you look at some of the most upvoted comments on Trading 2 and 2, it's often people posting about their dividend payouts. Getting paid actual money for your investments is exciting, and here's some examples of what I mean. If this is something that not only is interesting to screenshot and share, but also gets substantial response from the community, how can it possibly be boring? You have milestones of dividends from a certain holding, or per month, or even total dividends earned. And these are interesting to share, and also interesting to see from others. And talking of Trading212, it's probably the best investing platform for dividend investors. I asked Trading212 if they could give me a unique code that you guys can simply type into the promo code section, Capital at Risk. So if you've opened a new account recently, or planning to open an account, then here it is. DivXP, or D-I-V-E-X-P short for the dividend experiment. So you have 10 days from opening your account to type this in and receive shares worth up to £100. I also get something as this is my custom code, so this helps you support the channel too. If you do use it, thank you for your support and thanks to Trading212 for sponsoring this video. Now, getting back to dividends being boring. People often think dividends are boring because they don't understand the long-term benefits that they offer. Dividend stocks, especially from well-established companies, can provide a security and reliability. This reliability is particularly important during market downturns when high growth stocks can suffer big losses. Dividends also give shareholders, or those who qualify, a regular income, no matter how the market is doing, either increasing or in a downturn. When you see others panicking about how much their stock portfolio has dropped, you can be relatively calm knowing that your income hasn't changed at all. But the most exciting thing about dividends is when you've been doing it for a while and being able to look back. So here's my graph of payments since I started specifically dividend investing in 2018 in yellow, then 2020 in red, and 2023 in blue. I'll do an updated version of this in 2025 just so I can see the progress that I've made since I started. Misconception number two, dividends are free money. You know, a lot of people think that dividends are just free money, like a bonus on top of what they've already got, but that's not exactly how it works. When a company pays out a dividend, that money comes from their earnings or reserves. This means the company's overall value drops, which usually shows up as a drop in the stock price. So whether a company pays dividends to its shareholders or not, doesn't really matter for the overall value of the company. According to this theory, what truly determines a company's value is its ability to generate profits and grow, not whether it pays out a portion of those profits as dividends. So here's a simple way to think about it. Imagine you own a business, you make a profit each year. Now you have two choices, you can either take some of that profit out as cash, as a dividend, or leave it in the business to help it grow more. In the end, it doesn't matter which option you choose. If you take the cash, you have money now, but if you leave it in the business, the business might grow bigger and your investment could be worth more later. So whether you get a dividend or not, the value of what you own doesn't really change because it's all about the overall success and growth of the business. To make a super simple example, imagine a company like this. It has a factory worth $500, it has some machines worth $300, has a logo and a brand that people trust to make good quality products, and the accountants have decided that that is worth $100. And finally they have made some profits before, so they have some cash worth $100. I chose these numbers so we can just calculate it in our heads, so don't pick up on it in the comments for being unrealistic or something. So if we add all these up, we get the company being worth $1,000. It's made up of different things, and some of them are easier to sell than others, but if you add it all up, the company is worth $1,000. Now the owners decide to pay out all the retained profits to shareholders. This means they take the £100 in cash and send it out to the shareholders. 
Now, the shareholders got a dividend, and they divide that $100 between them, depending on how much ownership they have. And the shareholders have $100, and the company doesn't. This means the company is now worth $900 instead. It's not free money, it's from the company. You're essentially hoping the company will be able to make that money back again next year. And last but not least, dividends are safe. People often think dividends are always safe and reliable, but that's not always the case. Even companies with a long history of paying dividends can face financial troubles. And that's where the dreaded dividend cuts come in. A dividend cut is when a company decides to reduce the amount of money it pays to shareholders as dividends, or worst case, just stops it completely. Let's take for example, in 2019, Vodafone announced a dividend cut to help reduce its debt and fund investments in new technology, such as 5G networks. This was the first time Vodafone had cut its dividend since it had been formed. Vodafone cut its full year dividend by 40% as the cost of building out a superfast 5G network forced the mobile operator to shore up its balance sheet. It's important to do your homework when investing in dividend paying stocks, so look for companies that are financially healthy, have sustainable payout ratios and a history of getting through economic ups and downs. Diversifying your portfolio can also help reduce the risk of relying too much on one source of dividend income. The idea that dividends are always safe comes from the belief that companies with long histories of paying dividends will keep doing so forever. However, even the most stable companies can face unexpected challenges. The key takeaway is that no dividend is guaranteed. Companies need to balance rewarding shareholders with maintaining financial health. Factors like industry changes, economic downturns or company-specific issues can affect a company's ability to pay dividends. Also consider the payout ratio, which is the percentage of earnings paid out as dividends. A high payout ratio might mean the company is giving most of its earnings to shareholders, leaving little room for reinvestment or handling financial problems. On the other hand, a low payout ratio might suggest the company has plenty of room to maintain or grow its dividend. For instance, utility companies often have high payout ratios because they operate in stable, regulated industries with predictable cash flows. In contrast, companies in cyclical industries might keep lower payout ratios to ensure they can continue paying dividends even during downturns. There are certain type of companies that tend to pay out safer, sustainable dividends on a regular basis, and I call them natural dividend payers. So if you're interested, I'll remake an old video I have on my channel on how to identify these types of companies and why these are the types of companies that dividend investors should look at first while building a portfolio that pays their bills. In conclusion, ultimately, while dividends can be a solid way to earn income, these dividends are not always guaranteed. Companies might cut or even stop their dividends if they hit financial trouble or if the market changes, or even just the management change their mind about the whole thing. Conclusion Dividend investing can be a great way to build wealth and earn income, but there are some myths that you need to watch out for. First off, dividends aren't boring, they're actually a reliable way to earn returns, and the evidence is certainly out there to indicate that people find them exciting. Dividends are not just free money, they come from a company's profits and reduce the amount held in the company when they're paid out. They're essentially an accounting transaction rather than a bonus or something like that. And even though dividends can be steady, they're in no way guaranteed to be safe. Understanding these points will help you make smarter investment choices and build a strong, adaptable portfolio. If you liked this video, and if you made it this far, I'm guessing you probably did, then I have some good news for you. I'm giving away my PDF guide to the 10 dividend investing commandments, or the criteria that I use to pick dividend paying stocks, and I'm giving it away to you for free. All you need to do is submit your email in the link below, and it'll get delivered to your inbox straight away. Again, that's for free. But that's not the only benefit of joining the email. You also get updates on the almost daily dividend portfolio, interesting stock ideas or news, and special deals and free stuff that I can share with you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. See you!